what is up guys in today's video we got another fortnite update for this week this one was a lot of weapon balance and weapon changes as always if you guys do find this video helpful informative interesting remember to give it a like subscribe if you like to see more and comment down below what you think of these changes the first one is going to be that the frenzy auto shotgun was once again nerfed last week they reduced the range this week they reduced the fire rate from 2.5 to 2.2 the gatekeeper shotgun has a 1.7 fire rate and the way the fire rate stat works in fortnite is it's how many shots the weapon will shoot per second so 2.2 and 1.7 are pretty comparable the headshot multiplier on the frenzy auto shotgun was also reduced from 1.75 to 1.65 so a bit less damage on headshots you're going to be shooting slower and then also we have the range nerf from last week so the past like week or so has been really enough uh, rough for the frenzy auto shotgun for sure and i really don't see myself using this weapon i already preferred the gatekeeper shotgun at the start of the season the range nerf you know made me prefer the gatekeeper shotgun even more and then this nerf i i feel like really hurt the weapon a lot uh and that fire rate you could just doesn't sound like a lot but it feels noticeably worse to use i still think i would rather use the auto shotgun over a pump uh especially like early game if needed but I, I think the gatekeeper shotgun is the shotgun of choice for zero build the reaper sniper rifle was also nerfed the projectile speed was reduced by 16 percent and the bullet drop was increased by 116 percent so the bullets are going to travel slower and drop a decent amount more so you're going to have to lead targets and it's going to be harder seemingly to hit people that are moving jumping any of that stuff that you could do to potentially throw the opponent's aim off is going to make it harder for them especially with this nerf because the bullets are dropping more and traveling slower the spawn rate of the reaper sniper rifle was also reduced by 50 percent and i believe it was reduced uh in the past as well when they dropped reduced uh when they vaulted the green and blue one i think they also reduced the drop rate of the remaining rarities so now they reduce the drop rate even again uh it's going to be harder to use the sniper and even harder to find them i am fine with this change the snipers have been really overpowered for a lot of chapter five i would have almost I, I didn't get to play that much on this update and i've had a really i just haven't been playing well with the sniper recently anyways so i didn't really get a feel for the new bullet drop but you'll definitely notice it i almost would have rather them just kind of leave the drop how it was and then just reduce the mag size from three to one and still have the weapon be good but a little more punishing in the sense that you have to hit that one shot or reload that's just my opinion but reaper sniper definitely is nerfed and i think you'll definitely notice it if you can find it the hand cannon drop rate was increased by 60 percent, and it can now drop from legendary chests because for some reason it wasn't previously so the hand cannon is going to be a fair amount more common and it might be a replacement for a lot of people with the sniper being nerfed uh probably the hand cannon or the dmr will see a lot more use uh, from players two weapons also got buffed in this update the water bending mythic was buffed a lot it will now do two extra damage and its fire rate was increased from 1.8 to 2 the headshot multiplier on the water bending mythic was increased from 1.25 to 1.5 the speed the art ice shards travel at was increased so you'll have to like lead less they'll get to the target faster and it will now be hit scan for a greater distance this means it'll basically teleport to the enemy and it was increased from 4 meters to 25 meters hit scan range if I'm reading this post right. So within 25 meters, you won't have to lead the target at all with the ice bending mythic. I might be interpreting this post incorrectly because they didn't give a unit, but I believe that's meters because it's typically the unit Fortnite uses. So the water bending mythic got a lot better. Extra damage, extra fire rate, extra headshot damage, less uh, need of a, like to lead your shot. I think it will be usable for sure uh and i've seen people say maybe use this instead of an ar and maybe but like if i was using like shotgun ice mythic sniper i don't want to go from shotgun to ice mythic because there's like an animation when you take it out and it's rough so like if i do use my gatekeeper shotgun all of its shots and need to reload i would much rather be swapping to an ar or an smg than the ice mythic uh and i yeah so that's why i don't want to use this item too much but it was noticeably better i did use it on this update and you know i was able to play the game using it wouldn't be my preferred weapon to use but it was usable on, in some cases and i feel like getting high up and then shooting down with it could be quite good as well like i had times where like 
I was shock waving up and I would rather be shooting down with ice and my AR because you didn't need to really worry about bloom uh, much at all. And then the final weapon that was buffed in this update is going to be the Hades chain. Uh, the pull attack will now do 60 damage instead of 40. Hit 1 and 2 will now do 55 damage instead of 40. And then the third hit will now do 80 damage instead of 70. So a full combo will do 190 damage if you hit all three attacks. And a pull into a full combo will do 250 damage, meaning you can kill a full HP opponent in both builds and zero builds if you drag them to you and then hit three attacks uh, back to back to back. So this buffed it. I really don't see myself using it. I, I, I really do not enjoy using melee weapons in really any game, to be honest. Uh, and I feel like the melee weapons in Fortnite just feel very spammy and random to me. Like, I just feel like you get close to the opponent hit the button a bunch of times and hope they don't do more damage to you than you do to them in that time. And it's just never really been really satisfying or fun for me. And it also just feels like the outcome is pretty random. So I don't really see myself using this, but for people who enjoy using the Hades chain was buffed. And if you play, you know, it perfect, then you can drag somebody and, you know, do the combo and then just insta kill them after that combo is done. So that is going to be it for this buff. Quick recap, Frenzy Auto Shotgun, Nerf, I think the Gatekeeper was better before, I still think the Gatekeeper is better. Reaper Sniper Rifle, going to be harder to be to use, going to be harder to find. I still would like to use it, but the DMR or the Hand Cannon will probably be a decent substitute, especially with the Hand Cannon spawning more frequently now. And then both the Water Bending Mythic and Hades Chains items were buffed. If you enjoy those items, you're going to enjoy them even more now, but they don't, with how the game is played... I just don't really see myself using in either of these items, even with the buff. But that is going to be it for this video. I'm going to let some gameplay play out that I got uh, after the update. This is new gameplay. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, give it a like. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Comment down below what you think of the update. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Because if someone's sitting in like the passenger or backseat of a car and you try to ping it, it won't let you ping the car. You can know that like there's somebody in it for sure. I don't like the way this is playing out. Cause like this guy is just playing to third party and then the other guy just got ahead of them. You can hold us. Maybe they fight now? I wish I had more shocks. Rough, man. Wait, what? Did you guys see that? The universe is about to end. They fought each other. I didn't think that would ever happen. That was bizarre. The Frenzy Auto Shotguns headshot multiplier went from 1.75 to 1.54. So you're going to do less damage on headshots with the Frenzy Auto Shotgun. And the fire rate was also reduced from 2.5 to 2.2. The water bending mythic got plus two damage, plus projectile speed as well. The Hades chains got increased damage from 40 to 55, hit three damage from 70 to 80, and then the hook shot from 30 to 60. So the sniper got nerfed, the frenzy auto shotgun got nerfed, the Hades chain got buffed, and the water bending mythic was also buffed and then the hand cannons now have an increased drop rate and will drop from rare chest so they didn't change anything about how the hand cannon performs but you should be able to find it more frequently if it's something you enjoy using that is going to be it for this video i hope you guys found it helpful informative interesting as always if you did remember to give it a like subscribe if you'd like more and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching